Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching this video on the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Herman and today I have two very short videos about analytics and location engine. So this first video will uh, give you a very quick introduction what ALE does and uh, show you something. The second video will be about uh, WebSocket tunnels. So that is a tunnel that you can run over the internet to an analytics provider. But let's start with what is ALE. So ALE is uh, the acronym for Analytics and Location Engine. And the Analytics and Location Engine is a box that you put in your network that uh, on one side can fetch data from your access points, both Aruba Instant Access Points and uh, Controller-based access points. And uh, that data, uh, think of it like uh, uh, when a wireless client is probing, uh, you can hear that on the access point at a certain uh, RSSI level or a signal level. And uh, based on that, you know that clients are at a specific location at a specific time. And if you hear them at multiple access points, you can do a triangulation. So you can calculate and estimate where that client is uh, in your environment. So this is very nice information for uh, larger places uh, like retail, like hospitals, uh, like uh, large public venues to see where people are and uh, what they are doing in uh, the network. So uh, when the analytics and location engine has that data, it will expose the data uh, both through a REST API where uh, an analytics provider um, which is a third party uh, in most cases can pull uh, data and can query, for example, um, which clients were at a specific place at uh, uh, at a moment or which clients are now in the environment uh, and are they connected, are they not connected. And what you also can do is uh, subscribe through a zero MQ mechanism uh, so you can get real time updates from the analytics and location engine as the data comes in. Uh, so you can do very nice analytics uh, on that. As told before, the analytics mostly is done by uh, third party providers and those third party providers are uh, mostly uh, uh, specialized in a specific segment. So uh, we see a lot of those in a uh, retail. So people can be counted uh, when they enter the store or when they pass by the store and you can see uh, dwell times. So uh, how long are people in? And uh, all the data can be based on the ALE or analytics and location engine. So let's show you uh, how that uh, will look like. So this is the ALE uh, server. This is uh, one running in my uh, personal lab. So uh, we can see here uh, on the dashboard um, that everything is OK. We can uh, see that there's just one AP. Uh, feeding into this uh, this ALE uh, right now and we can see that many of the um, uh, many of the things are uh, for the northbound API which is to the analytics providers and uh, I see data coming in at uh, 12 messages per uh, minute uh, from my IAP and those messages are application messages so uh, what applications are people using um, but they also are proximity. So which clients are uh, in the proximity of this uh, network? And here down we can see if the clients are associated. So in this case uh, they are not associated or if they are an associated client. So we saw a drop here uh, in the unassociated clients. Uh, but it's coming back here um, again. So this is basically what we can see from the ALE. So if we have many access points, we here have a map feature and we can uh, see a heat map uh, thing, thing. So we can see the uh, blue dots and red dots uh, where people are. Um, but um, when we are using it in a uh, context mode or in uh, with, with just one AP, uh, this is basically what we have on the front end of the ALE. So again, this is uh, used together with analytics products. So um, let's see how the API will look like. So uh, might be a bit uh, silly for uh, for humans, but uh, machines like API. So here we have the uh, ALA. We go to API V1 and then we take the presence. So this will give us all uh, the devices that are in presence. And we can see here um, this is uh, a station with a specific MAC address and um, it has been uh, associated 
to the network. Uh, we can see to which radio. Um, so we can uh, go through this data and make uh, useful reports uh, from this. So this is the uh, REST API where you can pull uh, on request data from the ALE. Um, there are many others uh, li like the presence uh, API and you can find it all in the API documentation which is available on the support website. Then a second one is to show you the subscription API and we can do that with a nice tool that's on the box um, so the ALE is running on a Linux server um, and there is a tool called FeedReader and with FeedReader we can connect to the uh, 0MQ uh, subscriber um, API. So if we start it we can see we are connected now to 7779 and here we see events coming in. So this is a proximity event, this is an access point event and uh, if you look you can see the radio MAC addresses and if it's a proximity event, let's wait for another proximity event. Um, then we can see for example the RSSI value which is the uh, signal strength of the client. So here we see a RSSI value of minus 77 for this uh, specific client. So this allows us to see if clients are far away from the access point or nearby. If they are far away probably they are outside my store. If they are uh, close by with a strong signal they probably will be in my store. So you can imagine uh, you will need a analytics provider to make uh, value from this uh, from this data. Um, one thing that comes up, and uh, I ran into this uh, yesterday, so I uh, I found it out, is that we uh, probably will need uh, to build uh, a tunnel uh, to get data from the ALE to uh, the analytics provider because in many times the ALE is uh, located in your protected network there's a firewall then there is the internet and many of those uh, providers are in the public cloud and you typically don't want or your security department doesn't want uh, to have inbound traffic from the internet through your firewall to the ALE in order to uh, provide access to the third party analytics provider uh, on the APIs to your uh, ALE server. So the solution to that and uh, that will be uh, shown and uh, covered in the next video is that we can set up a WebSocket tunnel. So uh, built in into the ALE uh, there is a WebSocket tunnel and what it can do is it can build a tunnel to the third party analytics provider and that tunnel uh, it's just a TCP tunnel and it runs over, uh, in many cases, over HTTP, HTTP port 80 or over HTTPS port uh, 443, which is allowed outbound uh, for, uh, many, uh, for many networks. And uh, if we have uh, that tunnel set up, we can use that tunnel to tunnel uh, traffic back here to the data source in uh, the ALE. We will set up a... Uh, tunnel endpoint as an analytics provider so we will act like we are an analytics provider but we will do that in the next video. So for now thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe and leave your comments below this video so uh, if you have something that you want to see please let us know so we can make the videos that you like. So again thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again in the next video.